three. Five fifty three. Hello, it is. We're about to get started. Everybody, come on in. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna wait for a few. Okay, we got Dex is coming. Hey, everybody. I know it's. You know, I like to not perpetrate the fraud, so Instagram is letting y'all know we're here. And hey, Michael, Little John, Alberta, how is everybody doing? I'm sorry, we um, we were on punishment. Hi, mommy. Hi, Savy. Hi, everybody. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. Hey, y'all. I'm sorry, we had an unscheduled um. Uh, hiatus because <laughs> IG I don't know if you guys hey Ron Divas baby I don't know if you guys have been taking notice of what's happening on these IG streets but <laughs> like IG used to be the place where you could not like go ham all crazy because you should never be fully harassing somebody but what up cousin hey cj but <laughs> um what they've been doing i don't know like i've always ways you could come and do hood rat things with your friends like this is hood rat activities here now they are getting so strict that they are not allowing us to do hood right things on these hood right IG streets. <laughs> hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Dexter Latoya. Hey Dexter. <laughs> Super excited. Yes, I was explaining to the audience that we're back off of IG suspension. <laughs> or whatever that was. They brought us back in time for Valentine's Day. Happy. Yes. Valentine's Day. How are you enjoying mm -hmm. the day? You asking me or the commenters? <laughs> <laughs> you. And them. It's a it's a beautiful Monday. That's what it is. It's a beautiful <laughs> Monday full of love and appreciation. Yes. Um, I have a, a Valentine's Day game that I want to play with you too. Like once oh, we yeah. but well, uh, we might as well just start since it's that since we on Valentine's Day, let's just and guys also because of the whole censorship thing that's been happening, we might only get an hour. So we're trying to condense it more um also should we get censored again and get put on punishment dex and i are working on an alternative home <laughs> a couple of them actually <laughs> exactly so once we get more details i'm just kind of want to let you guys know um net can we can we still shoot for next week next week for a live feature or to actually do a show in case they come back around and be like, you bitches is cut. Uh, I, yeah, I'm free next week, yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, so should we have to take this train to another platform next week? We will let you guys know. Damn, y'all really was on lockdown. Damn sure it was. I said, why y'all doing this to us? But my cousin was on lockdown, and that's how I know they're cutting people short decks mm -hmm. because, like, so many lives, you would see them on, off, on, off, or after an hour, they would cut them right off. I noticed that today with a, a, a radio station, their page was doing a live because they were doing an event, and it would go off and then come back on. And I'm like, why, why are they stopping? I guess that makes sense, though. Yeah, now we now we see why. Okay, so let's get into a val happy Valentine's Day, all Valentine's Day game. Let's go. All right, so the Valentine's Day game, Toya, I'm going to name. So obviously no couple's perfect. Nobody wants to be in anybody else's relationship, but let's just have some fun. Yeah. I'm going to name two couples, and you tell me which one you which relationship you would rather be in, okay? All right, so the first two couples okay, I'm go. going to name is Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. Okay. Okay, you Will Smith. And, all right, I can see. Um, Do you guys see me? Damn, you're cycling now. And Dex, I can't hear. Do you guys see me? Because it looks like I'm fine. You're good. Dex, you hear? Yeah, it, I think it was okay. like, I, I just turned the Wi Fi off because it was acting crazy. But okay. I said a couple that I didn't want to include in this anyway, so it's fine. All right, so um, would you rather be in the couple of Stevie J and um and Faith Evans or Ray J and Princess Love 
Stevie J and Face and and Faith. Okay. Now the next two is going to be Lala Anthony and Carmelo Anthony and Portia and Simon. Lala and Carmelo. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now for all the marbles, all the marbles, Lala and Carmelo, or Stevie J and Faith Evans. Which relationship was? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to go with Lala and Carmelo. <laughs> well, Lala did just post on social media. You just shared it with me that today is not a relationship day for her. It's a day to share with her son because she is single as a dollar bill. So there we go. I need, <laughs> need y'all to please stop with this narrative. Like, it's so funny because I've never, like, in adulthood, I think the last time I, like, really celebrated and did the traditional, um, you know, Valentine's Day thing, it was when I was, like, in my earlier 20s or, like, mid-20s out in those streets. Like, get it, yeah, we're on a date. I feel like that's when I started, like, early. Real? Okay. Yeah, I didn't, when I was younger, like, in college, never. <laughs> I never celebrated. <laughs> Uh, and then before, I did it one time in high school, which it's just like to take the stuff to the school, you give it to the girl. Yeah. But no, like I never said, now I'd be celebrating. Like now it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? And I might feel different about it. Should I ever take that, that, that jump hop across the broom? But right now I just like, I it's a beautiful day and it's a beautiful expression of love. But I, go ahead. I bought out all the, the balloons at the dollar store. They have no balloons left at the dollar store. <laughs> so she's sitting over there covered in a bunch of balloons. Can she see us? You got you got to move through them. I, I like it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's sweet. It's so funny because shout out to all the couples out there who do celebrate it and just the people who take this in. I just don't want people to get so caught up in it's the day and we do know a lot of people take that and internalize it and then we get the la la the who i wanted to be posed my son is my valentine can y'all please not turn this into uh father's day because i feel like this is what's about to happen but you know what though i think on the flip side of that guys have to start making valentine's day about them too like guys have oh. to think well there's like a, a stereotype that you have to make it about the woman and i think you yeah. have to not do that I literally mm -hmm. was texting with one of my male friends, and he's like, I'm getting my, my my girl, like, stuff now, whatever. But, like, she didn't get me anything. And oh. I, I feel like if you feel like that's something that may happen, you got to plan it for yourself, too. Now, I knew yeah. I was I knew, you know, I was getting stuff. But I still include myself into it. So, for instance, on Friday, one mm -hmm. of the things that I included in our Valentine's Day date is watching wrestling. Like, I included that because that's something that and I she likes it. do. And, like, I know to most people, it's like, well, you that's selfish. It's anything, but it's like, no, like, if you make this a team thing, like, this is a us thing, I'm going to do for you. I'm going to make yeah. sure I have fun for myself, too. And then we're going to do ourselves together. I'm telling you, it flows so smoothly. Otherwise, you out there spending all your money on buying stuff. And yep. you, you get nothing and you spend all this stuff for them. You're going to be pissed. We're yes. not others. We're not those guys from before. We want to be pampered and whatnot too like you want to be spoiled too <laughs> guys want to be spoiled too and 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 you know what y'all be offering is, is the gift that's not enough <laughs> well we just said that's not enough because some people they'd be like hey no damn gift i get it anytime i want to <laughs> you can't say that you can't say that but you Thank got you. Acknowledge that, like you got, you gotta make it special. Like those are that's tonight's the night where you up the ante. It's it shouldn't be like get up. <laughs> <laughs> night is the night that you can do that, but you also better have had something else presented to that man before that too. As a oh okay, we were looking at it from different perspectives, but yes, I feel like this is something like kind of going in. I honestly don't think any couples couples should be fighting on this day because I feel like if you have been with this person and you kind of know what each other are into, like you kind of, I mean, you should kind of have that discussion to know if this, do you I'll celebrate this? I don't like, what's up? I don't know because like, it's it, like, you're still at the end of the day, you guys are still human. And like, I was spending this time together. You wanted to make it perfect. If so, she or he, if somebody like throws it off the other way, the other person's gonna be a little upset. So it's just kind of like, yeah. 
I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. I, listen, to each their own, run your relationship or dating relationship how you see fit. But yep. what I will say to the fellas, and so one pastor that I follow, he said this, no matter what she says, that she's not into it. Don't be a fool. Get that woman some. <laughs> like, even if it's just flowers or something. Like, because for me, I'm the type I like to enjoy. I, for me, it's just about time. So I'm beyond that. Let's go out and do this huge, like, grandiose gesture. And now everybody does things for the gram. Like, I, it doesn't have to be for the gram. Like, as long as I know it's special between us and that time was shared. But for the gram stuff is cool too. If, if if you're into that, don't let people talk you out of it. Like, do what works for you. Like, some people yeah. don't, like it, and it's like it's fine not to like it. Some people love it, and then like I feel mm -hmm. like, like bash people for like sharing their stuff on social media. We can't do that. Like, if if well, he yeah. wants to share their stuff, let him share it. Like, we I, we gotta be more positive and uplifted for these people. So let's be clear. You can share it all you want to, but don't get mad when no people when don't nobody give you the attention you were looking hey, for. And not you cannot get upset. First of all, you, thank you. You are posting it's just like Christmas. You are posting your gift to me and I didn't get nothing. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not angry, but I ain't liking the picture. I'm still I'm gone about my day. <laughs> so you can post it, but you definitely can't get you gotta lower your expectations because people might but then you know <laughs> well, like, then you know the people, then the person will post it. Oh, these bitches, they hating on me. I know you see it. They hate it. We like, don't, okay. People don't be hating. They just don't have anything. It's just like, how can I be happy for you? But I'm just in there looking like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> What's on TV? <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, at the end of the day, y'all enjoy y'all Valentine's Day any way you see fit. I just hope when I do get married because i'm speaking i'm manifesting and i'm speaking again into existence it would be nice if me and hubby during this time of year i just want to be away i don't even want to <laughs> i don't want to be in the states i don't want i don't want to be a part of the festivities i just want it to be me and him luxuriating somewhere um, yeah. that's it and and, and also <laughs> Oh, never mind. I'll leave it alone. This is my no, no, no. <laughs> oh wait, and also for me, like I, this is these EC McLean. This isn't my situation. I, I mean, nobody's perfect, but like we're pretty good up here. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I gotta get, Love it. you gotta get. We we're good up here. I've been talking to my friends in the chats today. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> wait, yeah. speak the chat. Can I just address the fact? So this is for the singles out there and the people who are booed up and married or whatever the case may be. Do know it's okay to have fun with this holiday. And if your single friends are asking you, hey guys, what's the plan? What you guys going on? Because they're genuinely happy for you. It, it doesn't have to be awkward if you say, you okay over there, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Because now I'm projecting, and I'm going to take it back. I was in, we have our group chat, me and the boys, me and Dexter and Brandon. So just, hey, what's going on? What you guys got doing? Not one of you, neither one of y'all asked, you good over there? And I'm like, you know what? Because I, I think it's this awkward, it's this awkwardness at this time. Like, have hey, fun knew, with it. I knew you weren't doing anything. Why would I ask you what you're doing if I know you're not doing nothing? <laughs> but you don't know that. I can have me a little in touch. <laughs> Well, I assumed it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Thank you. I, you know I'm out in these streets. <laughs> you know, I'm selfish. I'm, like, it's weird because I feel like before, like, before I was, like, married, I would be, like, talking to my, my single friends and stuff like that. But now I feel like yeah. a lot of my friends are in relationships, like, most uh -huh. people are in relationships. So it's like, I don't even think to be like, oh, what's what are y'all up to? Like, this weekend, for sure, I, the blinders were on. It was just like... I, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's like, and it's so funny because even like a lot of people don't know, I was in a relationship for 11 whole years, and this is just me. Mm -hmm. And for me, like, because you guys, of course, you knew me when I was in a relationship, and I felt like we talked about it then, but I was like, it could be a little awkward this year for people, and I get it, but y'all know I'm the, I'm the good time girl, you know. I'll sweat my back. 
A bitch loves being with me and me. <laughs> But even when it was in a relationship, we never made like a big deal over this day, and I love that. I feel like ours is pretty low key as well. It's just been mm -hmm. weird to me because, like, my low key stuff, I feel like is whatever. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> and people just they try very hard. I put it that way. They try very hard and they come up short. And you ain't giving what's supposed to be gay, okay? In Dex's world. Another question for the singles and maybe even for the mayors. I want to say to the people, how many of y'all exes pop in the, on y'all DMs like happy Valentine's Day? Oh, I don't have that anymore. Well, now I'm glad you shut it down. But before the marriage and before you were in a consistent relationship, how many would you would say you would get? on this day and usually really any holiday because you know the exes love you it's like valentine's day christmas in particular and then every now and again your birthday <laughs> do, do, you want to okay i have an answer for that but it's not what you're gonna go. what you're thinking though okay go i was the zero i was the ex <laughs> <laughs> It was me. I did it. <laughs> I was the one texting. How's your dad going? <laughs> Since we have the perspective of the offender, <laughs> what was going through your mind like when this happened? Home, lonely. <laughs> lonely. <laughs> Nothing to do. Everybody posting to the doing stuff. <laughs> Don't leave me out. <laughs> and look, if it was like how it was this year, I would have been in so many inboxes only because this year was like a weekend. It was like that was on a, on, it was on a Monday, so it would have started Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Ain't no way I'm sitting in this house lonely by myself. I gotta get in the text messages. <laughs> Ain't no way. Love me. <laughs> I always find that funny with the exes. It's like, oh, are you really missing somebody, or are you just sitting the fuck home bored? Because just because I'm home bored too, don't mean we gonna be bored together and attain to each other. Had a pretty good record. Huh? I had a pretty good record. Some were <laughs> All right. All right, well, this is why I love doing this to you because we just be having a vibe before we even, like, really get into the damn topics. But um, let's get into some local news. It was actually, we got stories, and stories will probably carry this on into next week, too. So, you know, if you're from the Philadelphia area, you know what Lincoln Drive is like, correct? Like, it's a very windy road, beautiful, but it's so funny because even as beautiful as it is, I don't think I would ever live on Lincoln Drive because right. it's such a hazard. Well, a story had popped up and uh, this one guy who had just recently purchased his home, probably roughly about a year. We love you too, Caprice McGill, baby. Um, but roughly had his house for a year. And I don't even, it must have been a slow news day because they was really like out there trying to like help assist. And he's well, like, in Philadelphia. Huh? A good thing in Philadelphia. I guess so. <laughs> But um, he was like, I bought this house less than a year ago, and I already had three cars plow right into my house. And now I think I'm going to have to put a boulder up to try to discourage it. So now the city is in this whole, like, planning phase on trying to do something about these, like, I guess, like, adding traffic lights and stuff like that or, like, cameras I don't understand what you think that that's really going to do. And, sir, you probably shouldn't have purchased your home on Lincoln Drive. <laughs> difficult for you to get onto the road back and out of the house when you went to go do the tour. You knew that was difficult at that moment. Why Thank would you, you run around and be like, I'm going to the, put the deposit down on this one right here. You, get, you reap what you sow, brother. And he tried to say he didn't know that it was like that. And the, the previous owner said something. Negro, you don't got Google Maps? You mm -hmm. couldn't buy that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if you did go. Because don't Google Maps got some type of like live feed? You can and, see them zipping on by. And you said this is the third time somebody plowed into your house? In a year. 
yeah. in a year. I'm I'm putting a, a for sale sign up in the, in the lawn. Like a, apartment me, please. <laughs> You're like, I will never understand that. It put me back in the time when we used to party on South Street. This was Faisal's at the time, and um, a guy came out after the club. You everybody on here know how the after the club let out is. We loud. We on South Street. Bro came downstairs. Can you guys settle down? My kids are upstairs sleeping. <laughs> I'm going to be nice on the strength, but sir, this is South Street. You don't buy a family home on South Street. <laughs> Kids are they're sleeping. Wake them up. <laughs> What's up? Time to wake them up. <laughs> we miss Roland Ray. From what we hear, Roland Ray update, I was going through some clues on his uh, page. He is still with us. Um, something going on, allegedly some type of abuse situation with his boyfriends, allegedly, just from what I was reading in the comments, but they say he's not posting and he is watching. He's watching all of us. Weird though, because the last time he did post, he said he was in the hospital dying, literally. Of yes. So, like for you not to post for a long period of time. Yeah, so everybody and periodically I checked in because no offense, I'm not ready to part with Roland Ray. He just, he still has more to give. <laughs> he still needs to give what's supposed to be gay. <laughs> and Beyonce, did you send him another um? She, she did just have a new drop. I know, I wonder if he got, and it was red. What does that mean, it was red, like fire? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. We should wear red today. Today's Valentine's Day. Why don't we wear red today? You know, I'm not. Damn, am I Grinch? I'm not <laughs> super festive. <laughs> I might be the Grinch when it comes to. You know what? When it's food re I'm fat. I'm fat. Because if it's a food related holiday, I am all about it. Maybe that's what it is. If y'all made Valentine's Day more about food, well, they do the I would participate. Huh? They do the chocolate covered strawberries. I don't want that. Mm -mm. No, I want real food. Patty was talking about chocolate covered strawberries on the air the other day, and I was like, I need to get some. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, y'all love them chocolate covered strawberries on, on holidays, child. I I mean, they cool. They all right, but it, it ain't really. I, I could care less. Give me some money or give me a real meal. Give me the steak and potatoes. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> um, so that was uh, one thing that I saw. Also, last night after the Super Bowl. So while some of y'all was at y'all Super Bowl parties here in the Philadelphia area, some of y'all kids decided to go out and um, wreak havoc across downtown. So they went into, uh, I want to say it was on 12th and Chestnut, the Wawa down there, went in there, ransacked the whole thing. Um, just like, do you remember, like, I guess you would call them the flash mobs. Mm -hmm. It was like coming up the flash mobs of kids and they didn't even know what was going on to the point where they decided to shut down. Is it called the premium? What used to be the gallery? I forgot what it's called now. Philadelphia Premium Outlets. Yeah, so Philly Premium Outlets, they even shut down, closed the mall, shut down some business um, so they wouldn't be attacked by these uh, by these kids. I just want to point, shout this out, that Ron Divas makes chocolate-covered strawberries. On You can check it out on her page. It's Creations by Angie. I'll be looking. Yes. So if you need some, go check out Ron Divas, Creations by Angie. Actually, let me go ahead and I'll try to pin this comment. There we go. Okay. So, yes. It, 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 Ron Divas, is it too late for them to put a... Well, tomorrow is Side Chick Day, right? I don't condone that, so no. Well, it happens. Rather you condone it or not, Dexter. <laughs> 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 so, no, because the day before is Galentine's Day, I believe. So, then it's Valentine's Day, and the day after is Side Chick Day, so... <laughs> Why am I saying you're talking about some Philadelphia premium outlets? It's definitely called the Fashion District. I, I don't know why I said that. I don't even know what... Uh, premium something, too. Philadelphia premium outlets is, is in Limerick. That's an actual outlet. Okay. I, I don't know. I can't keep up. No, it is. I it is. I don't shopping nowhere anyway, so I don't know where people about to close it. Same. Somebody, <laughs> me and my dad were just having a conversation the other day about King of Prussia. I said, I don't know what the inside of that mall look like. It's been years. What I'm going what, up there for? Who the Rick Ross on me? What? Excuse me? We gotta talk about that. What happened? 
I literally have not heard a word from your dad since we offered him a, offered our prayers and stuff. Like I, he's he's like, are you do you do you have him blocked because he definitely did a message on social media thanking everyone. I gotta go look. And don't so, don't do don't do my daddy like Rick Ross. Well, not like Rick Ross, but I mean, like I don't, I feel like I'm here from him more often. I gotta go look. Well, you know, to be fair, also he's still healing up, so he's kind of uh kind of a long caller we are talking well if well you know what rick ross came back from death and was skinny too so did my daddy kind of before though and don't huh? your dad was skinny before he went and had like but he's skinnier now but we know rick ross because he was really fighting with it rick ross had a little weekend trip to the hospital and came out skinny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And i forget i mentioned it just forget it Forget it. <laughs> well, daddy's skinny now, skinnier now, but it's because of the COVID and him healing up. But that's just why they bang with us because we real out here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got to see the light. This is the world is so just insane, and we see it every day. We really are here to provide some light some joy and some energy to everybody and, and while we discuss the realness of what's happening in life so yeah y'all please pay attention more to y'all uh children and and with it being um valentine's day it's also a full moon tonight who's getting pregnant <laughs> yeah <laughs> You like you trying to get that maternity leave in already, sweetie? <laughs> right away. Bring it on. Can I ask you a question? Like this is no. a your question. Go. Do you remember um COVID? Uh-huh. How come they don't be talking about this? <laughs> 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 they don't say nothing about it. I was watching the news today, they were talking about the Super Bowl and everything else. They were not talking about what? There's a COVID. They're talking about Valentine's Day. They're talking about the Super Bowl. I ain't hear them say nothing. They're talking about the Olympics. I ain't hear them say nothing about it. Not a word. Well, let's be, I'm going to be fair because, you know, I do a little prep before. Like, I'll keep the news on prior to. So, 6 ABC. Today is the first time in a while that I heard about COVID. And they said that they think we're pretty much over this Omicron. Uh-uh. Okay. Well, Strange. Okay, well, what about COVID in general, though? Like, are we just... just it's a Christmas. Now, y'all done told y'all we can start taking our mask off. Christmas went away, and, like, they just stopped talking about COVID. It's like, oh, what up? We out here. We all saw. Shakima's finally talking to me. This girl hasn't talked to me all day today. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Best friend. She's busy with her husband and her son on this Valentine's Day. That's why. I'm sorry. Don't make me sad. And I can't see these comments again. Y'all know. You know. How, oh, oh, shit. Damn. Y'all was really talking. The, the full oh, Full moon is on Wednesday, so on a Wednesday, okay. Well, y'all have these babies today and tomorrow. Get prepared for mm -hmm. <laughs> full so moon season. It, but these are Scorpios, though. These will be Scorpios. Well, you know, you already know. Got your mama gave up that Valentine's Day cat, huh? Then I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'll hold off. <laughs> you like just hold off until the next month. I have a Scorpio. <laughs> on that. Andy it's so funny because any Scorpios, I'll be looking at mm, your mama free. <laughs> now we'll be like, your mom's very lazy with her gifts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they not lazy about it. And speaking of lazy, y'all women are really getting lazy. I was in the grocery store the other day. I literally was in the grocery store on Friday night. The entire row of Alfredo stopped completely. But yes, and you know that y'all be buying up all the Alfredo sauce for y'all little um, Valentine's Day meals. There was shelves and shelves and shelves of Alfredo. How is it possible for me to be able to find Alfredo? That's impo it's insane to me. Y'all, wait, you can, they're out already? Like it's no. no Alfredo? No, no, no. It's in there. It's stocked up completely. Shelves and shelves and shelves of it. Like this time last year, you could not find a can of Alfredo. It's packed. And you know we're going. Uh, what do you call it when we don't have a lot of stuff? Uh, and well, uh, we're going through yeah, like that. So how is it we don't have gas, but we have Alfredo sauce? Y'all lazy. 
It's insane to me. Uh, because the restaurants is back open. People feel more comfortable. You ain't got to be in there with no mask on, according to Uncle Joe. <laughs> There was so they got these restaurants. I ain't cooking nothing. It was so much shrimp and so much Alfredo. And you know. <laughs> That's what you Thank you. <laughs> I mean, so maybe the markets know that this is a thing now. So they may. It's kind of like a snow day. You know, when you walk in, it's all the salt. So they know. <laughs> That's fair. But I'm just saying. Now, they got the word. Okay. I'm going to take your word. They they got the word and they know what your cousins like. Now hold up. Now your black behind was being real um upper echelon at the Whole Foods. Is that the market you're gauging off of? I went to more than one I went to more than Ron Davis at Walmart. Now you know. I wanted <laughs> nobody's Walmart. So <laughs> and, still, and we already talked about that. I will still because it keeps me humble, I'll still take the Walmart. Journey, go ahead. That Walmart was out of Alfredo sauce last month, so I stand corrected, girls. Y'all ain't like <laughs> <laughs> I don't, y'all be buying it up. <laughs> you know it, tis the season, sweetie. <laughs> and you know, I really hate this because now lately I have been craving Alfredo, and I'm not going to make it because I just feel like I can't do what everybody else does. I make my own sauce. I mean, I did make Alfredo the other day, but I made it. I made my own sauce though. Like I use like heavy cream and do it myself. Yeah, I mean, they say it's really easy, but I don't even want to bring that process into my life like that because, huh? It's fun. It's fun, but then I'm sitting there with a shit ton of Alfredo eating it for days. I, I can't do that. Well, I can't do it. You get you a man, he'll eat it with you. And he should have, if you, you eat it with him, but you, your ass ain't going to be sitting up there just hoarding damn Alfredo all damn week, neither. This is a one-day, two-day meal tops. But for me, exactly, like, especially me being single, like, even when it comes to spaghetti, I love spaghetti, but I stopped making it because you're sitting there with all this damn spaghetti and pasta with nothing to do with the shit. Like, I'm not, like, I'm done with it after a couple days. You got to be more like me, like. I have gotten to the level, I don't know how I did it, God, I guess, I don't know. But I know how to make just enough spaghetti for me to, for like one, at one sitting. Like, and that's impossible, but I know how to do it. Like, I've like mastered it. It's crazy. So what you do, like a, a little half of the sauce and like one handful of skeddies? You probably, you know why? Because you cut, you, you break your skeddies, don't you? You know what's crazy? When I yeah, you do for myself like that, I I break it. But when I cook yeah, for I people, I make I keep it whole. Okay, now why do you break it for you? Because I need less. You need less? No, that's not what it is. <laughs> what do you mean? Because your negroid taste buds only really respond to it when it's broken and. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing at this? You're ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Because, you know, that's how we were all taught. And, like, let's just talk. Let's just take this moment so you're, to... You need to get a man. Huh? Your grandma said that you need to get a man. No. She said, Nana says you got a man. Oh, you got that's a what it said. Oh. Now, cousin... We gonna keep this business off of here. <laughs> Your grandmas will always tell your business. They do not care. Always. <laughs> it was time Let's just, since my cousin brought the personal business over here, we're going to address it. I am not in a relationship right now, but there's somebody special. So we just got to see where it goes. But until then, I'm on these streets, okay? Because until you lock it down, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she ain't waiting for nobody. Hey, Nicole Strategy Agency. Um, okay, so the full moon Wilmington. Wilmington, what's going on down there in Delaware with y'all being racist? What's up with the swastikas just popping up? Racism is popping up all over the place now. What's really going on? Y'all like that? Racism always pops up in February. Like, everybody wants to hijack Black History Month. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> they might be upset. Maybe it's the Alfredo. They mad when they go to the stores. Hang on there. 
because they kind of go to Walmart. So I'm going to Walmart. Go to Giant. He said, they got yep. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe that, maybe that we've, we've explained the uptick in racism around this time. So it's Alfredo and Black History Month. Wow. We go, well, maybe because Black History Month, we keeping this thing going. So Tax season two. Could be another thing. <laughs> Look at Ron Divas giving out that advice single till they claim you. I heard that. Yes. So if you wanted this here, this is a look. Let's send this PSA out to the people. If you are an eligible bachelor, because we don't do no bums on these streets, you, you got to have a job. You got to have motivation. You got to want more. You can't just live in Comfortville, because I don't live in Comfortville, because nothing grows in Comfortville. I'll ask your girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Can we get into this? Okay. Should we? Okay. Everybody's talking about. Let's just get into the damn Super Bowl first before the Super Bowl um went off. Uh. Well, went like happened. Uh. Rob. Rog, what's his name? Roger Goodell. That's his name. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he says that um the uh. <laughs> The NFL is currently working on diversity and inclusion within a front office. Um, and this was on the heels of a coach saying, talking, bringing up the discrimination all up and through the NFL. Um, we we kind of knew that that was the case. <laughs> like, it sucks that somebody had to point it out, like, for it to be said. Um, and now I'm like me and Dexter, like we took a diversity and inclusion course. Now I'm really starting to feel like that a lot of these people are using this terminology as just like it's a safe word to say we're working on it. I would rather you not say that and just fix the damn problem because there's no way you can be all part of blackness and diversity, inclusion and equity. When your whole front office, no matter what company you worked for, or like the top dogs on the corporate level, if everybody looks like you, no matter what you are, that's not a diversity, inclusion, and equity. So I'm just to the point now, stop talking about it and just do it. Be about it. Yes. <laughs> So, yeah, so that was then. And then, okay, after that was, what, last week. And then the Super Bowl this week, everybody was talking about the halftime show. The Rams won. Some people say, looking on these internet streets, um, they already knew the Rams were going to win because L.A. had to find the money to uh, pay off that stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. We found it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what did you think about the Super Bowl? Well, you know, I only watched a little bit of it. I was there for the important parts, the opening, the um, <clears throat> the uh, national anthem where the country artist, I forgot what her name is, excuse me, but apparently the NFL uh, forgot what her name was too because on the lower thirds, they introduced her as Janae Aieka. Yeah. You know, for me, I love the Super Bowl. I think I thought it was amazing. Like, my favorite, I mean, like, The Rock is, like, my favorite person in the world. Like, I love him. Yes, he did the introduction. I mean, there was a national anthem sung. Uh -huh. I don't know where I was at. I swear the TV was on. I didn't see it. I did not hear it. Like, all this stuff that you were talking about with the Janae, I, I, I didn't see that. I'm like, like, did they cut it? Or did they <laughs> Yes, okay. I didn't see it, but when I when I turned the TV on, when I I guess when I started looking, The Rock was on there making the introduction, which I thought was amazing. More so because like I just remember being younger and knowing The Rock mm -hmm. from wrestling, and like just to see a person who was a wrestler now being on like the big screen and the main stage at, at, at mm -hmm. oh, if that was a deal, and just to see his growth, it's really inspiring to be honest with you. Um, so I saw that and I loved that. But then, to be honest with you, I have to be watching the Super Bowl with my dad. This is not your father's Super Bowl. It was not your no. father's Super Bowl. It's it, like we are in a different time. And mm -hmm. I'm basing that on like the commercials too, because like yeah. watching commercials, Doritos, beer commercials, and stuff like that. That's what I'm used to. Last night, 
I was sitting there with my dad and I was watching commercials about the metaverse and cryptocurrency. And I'm like, like, what is life right now? I, I have no idea what I'm watching. I was so like, it was one of those, it really like, it was distracting to me because I'm like, we're, in a, we're really entering a new wave of life. When you- It's here. Like the metaverse is now the, yeah. that we've, that's been thrown around and talked about. It's a, a $7,000 or 70, seven, I think it's like $7,000 or something like that per commercial or something like that. Mm -hmm. Super Bowl commercial. Like this, there, this is a, an investment that people are making. And the crypto- Seven million. It, it's a million, seven million. It's that, for Super Bowl ads, we're definitely in the millions per ad. A little bit more than 7,000. But yeah, seven mm -hmm. million dollars, like this stuff does not seem like it's going to go away. So, like, if not. we're learning about it, we kind of got to, like, know what it is, at least. Because, like, yes. it, um, I thought the halftime show was good. Um, the 50 Cent thing was one thing that really stuck out to me, because when he came down, two things about this. One, people, he was fat and stuff. And, like, I, body shaming is something I just don't get it. I don't like it. I don't like to see anybody get body shamed. I don't like for people to do the body shaming. But 50 Cent is also like a troll, too. So, like, he probably yes. doesn't care as much. But, like, no. I, I, I didn't like that. I thought that was, like, kind of unnecessary that people did that. And then I also didn't care for the fact that Eminem took the knee situation only because it kind of, like, outshined, like, his performance. Like, it's like... Really? Right. Yeah, because like, what I saw, I didn't know what it was doing and reading comments. People like, said, oh, that's what she was doing? I didn't realize that's what he was supposed to be doing, but the next day, like, that's all people were saying about Eminem's performance is that, oh, he took a knee, and it's like, oh, like, okay, but, like, he also performed, and, like, yeah. I don't know, I just, I just feel like the knee kind of take takes away from it, and, like, if, mm -hmm. we're, if, we're, if we saw you do that, take the knee, that means we clearly don't care because we're not boys mm -hmm. watching the NFL. So like, what was the point of taking the knee? I don't get it. Yeah. Wait, Ron. So I guess it's, I, I think he really did it is because I guess they had to put in a request for different things that they do and it was turned down. So in M fashion and hip hop being just, we are rebellious. Like that's what hip hop is. So I guess it was a way of after the rules but of course you can't make everybody happy because some people are like oh he's pandering to the black community but if he hadn't done anything what i don't know but i don't were, i don't even take too much stock into stuff like that to be quite honest there were a bunch of black people there and none of them did it like i i don't know i just think we're kind of past it like it really okay huh? okay Jigga. what that's what he said to cat we passed kneeling. We are well, you know, I was never into the kneeling thing. I always I <laughs> We're past that now. And like for Eminem to do that, I mean, look sure, if that's what you want to spend your time doing, mm -hmm. you want your press and your headlines to be that you took a kneel, then you do it. Truthfully, afterwards, I don't think there should be much conversation about it. Like he did what he thought yeah. was right and fun and whatever for him. Like that's like, wow. It was a, a, a cool moment, but it was just a moment. Okay, let's move on to the other um stuff. Hey, DJ K rated baby. Um, but you had said something. What was the first thing that you mentioned before M? The 50 cent. Oh, 50. So let's not 50 was up there looking like a um looking like he was at the slaughterhouse. <laughs> like one of the cows after it was done. Now, let's just say that it's not body shaming because I don't look at it as body shaming. I look at it like we're older. 50, I know this ain't your first. This was not your first run hanging from that thing upside down. Y'all ain't practice. So at some moment in time, you didn't say, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be up here. But again, to put on your, on your thing, 50 is a troll, so maybe he did that, because it really wasn't needed in any way, shape, or form. It was. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. How, why was it needed? Because it was just so dope. It was so cool. And, like, this morning when they talked to me, like, about, like, my favorite part of the halftime show, I was like, oh, 50 Cent was my favorite time or, at work. I'm like, oh, 50 Cent was my favorite part. Like, I love 50 Cent. I thought that was great. And then, and then this guy, he goes, well, why was he upside down? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you, what do you mean? Why was he upset? Like, you don't know. He goes, no. I was like, how old are you? He's like, I was born in '98. He's 24 years old. They have no idea. Why are you in the group chat with a 24 year old with your old ass? This is at work. I'll just play it. <laughs> <laughs> Me didn't get work, but but I'm like, 
this is insane to me that like people don't even know why 50 cent like it, it means nothing to them that he did that like that means nothing so like there is a group of people out here which is a gen z or whatever they have no idea about the marriage Blige dance they don't know what eight mile is yeah like, it's yeah insane to me and it makes me feel so freaking old because like these mm -hmm. So important to me, like trip walking means nothing to them. Blood. Well, if you if you in the gang, it means something. To you. <laughs> I don't. It, it, it's just like I don't know. All these things that that happened yesterday that, that we were so excited about. There were really people like I don't get it. And like I know for us, it peaked our nostalgia, right? When yes, they, that like this boy that's twenty four years old now. When they get older or whatever, I get twenty four is probably. Whatever. But when these when these young kids, these Gen Zers, get older and they're yeah. back and they're watching the Super Bowl, what is nostalgia for them? Like, what is it? It well, I guess when they were young, sitting up watching it. But if you're 24, I don't think I don't know. I mean, is Super Bowl watching still something that the kids look forward to? Like these Gen Zers, I don't think they do. I think so. I think I. I, I mean, I don't know. Like I. I think so. I assume maybe not. I don't. You said they were at the Wawa still, and so I guess not. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think they care. and They have these attachments to things the way that they did. Um, I feel like with anything, like their more attachments will be things that happened online and started there rather than lame. like this. Huh? Lame. Their existence is so lame. Like when they get older, it's going to be so lame and so boring. Like they're I'm not going to say that. I'm telling you. They live. They live. Their nostalgia, literally, that word is going to go out of existence after us because, like, we can look back at some old stuff that happened back in the day TV shows, characters, and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, yeah. nostalgia. they don't have that, they don't have a Martin, they don't have a living single, they don't have an insecure. Yes, they, they, do. What? they got they got euphoria, <laughs> euphoria, they have euphoria. Literally, when they reminisce about the past, it's gonna be about drugs and sex and alcohol. Like, it's oh. that wasn't what you. That wasn't what your reminiscence was no, about? No, because I can, reminisce, oh, you ain't. I can reminisce about Mary J. Blige and Eminem and 8 Mile mm -hmm. and all these things like that. They don't have they don't have nothing. If you were born after whatever year that makes you a millennial, your life is garbage. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> like, you have nothing. That's the thing you this, because now you sound like one of them people. You want to be so young, but now you come down or the kids. Don't do this. We not. Kids, whatever y'all connect to, even though I think it's stupid that y'all be sitting online watching these people play video games, I will never understand it. Lose. But if that's what y'all like to do, that's what y'all like to do. This, yep. These are the future of the free world. We go where they follow. Their nostalgia is going to be the metaverse. We can't relate to that. We're still trying to figure it out. I don't want to. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? I always thought millennials were the best generation, right? I always thought that. But this super Every generation thinks that about their own generation, okay, Dexter. I'm from, though. I'm <laughs> I literally realized over the weekend that millennials are legit the best generation. We know everything. We know everything. Okay. We start everything starts with us. Everything starts with us, right? Okay. People who are I mean, a lot of our audience is like the the one the generation before us. Which is Gen Gen Gen, Gen X? Who cares? Toy, nobody cares about them. Literally nobody cares about them. These are the same individuals who want to go to the club with us, but they're too old to actually go to the club with us because like, you look at it like, you're too old to be in here. We're looking at them like, why? Because it's our parents. Why would my mom be in the club with me? Go home, grandma. Like these people are so, and we're having kids now. So like these people are too old to be in the club with us and they want to be, but they can't because they're too old. Go home. You can't sit with us. You know what? This is my thing about that as somebody who was just out at the club where I like like adult atmospheres. Gen Z, stay out our stay out our spots. Y'all go to y'all speakeasies. Y'all go create that because these were the two spots that I went to a couple of weekends ago where I go because we know it's a like more of a sophisticated crowd. It's people usually with 401k. They've held down a job for a good few years. The same job like we're of the world. I went in. I said, well, what the? Not these babies in here. And then I became the old lady in the club. Like I'm, 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 I'm 
older, I'm an older, more distinguished gentleman now. I don't want to be like these people. I, I know I'm better than the Gen Xers because nobody wants to be like them at all. And I'm way better than the, than the, than the, the, the what do they call under us, Gen Z, whatever. Yeah, well, what about the boomers? Y'all ain't got no money. I'm better than everybody. I'm the best. I'm oh, they got the money. Because they got that PPP money still on the top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best because I'm a millennial. <laughs> Um, Nicole, All of the money will skip out on the PPP. Nicole, so just there, they got their check. <laughs> look, Nicole's strategy agency said we have wisdom. I can guarantee you, she's that group that's that's above us. Y'all don't have nothing because y'all really are the reason that we're so messed up. The bad parts of us that we that, messed up, we can't count our money and stuff. It's because of y'all. Y'all are our parents. Y'all messed us up. Look, y'all. To be fair, <laughs> y'all did raise us. <laughs> so even when the kids. Even when the kids don't know certain songs that we think we should, like they should know, you can't blame them. You gotta blame the parents. It's always, y'all. I'm telling you, that like I feel like they're the forgotten generation, and I feel like they they're like they they're like the middle kids, the middle children. Like they're uh -huh. they were so forgotten about that they just forgot about us. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> y'all are the ones who would drop us off to our grandmom's house. That's why the baby and care. And y'all don't. Like, y'all are the worst group ever. <laughs> but you know, now, now I think this is why a lot of, like, because millennials were the ones that started that, like, over-parenting thing. Like, damn, your kids can't do nothing. Can they breathe? And I feel like that's Gen X's and Boomer's fault because y'all ain't give a damn about none of us. Y'all was out talking about, I'm at work. Here's the key. See? Get out. See? Don't open this door. I don't <laughs> care. The house on fire. I'm don't open this you. door. <laughs> I, mean, I, feel like, and I feel like we never call them out. We never call that generation out. We literally let them do whatever they want, but they, they ruin the country. <laughs> <laughs> Now everybody out here, y'all ain't raise us right. So now when the kid, we watching the Super Bowl, the kid, y'all told us that we can just do whatever they want. And now our kids is out on these streets doing whatever they want. It's not our fault. And then, Toy, this is also the first group of grandmoms that don't want to watch their grandkids. I never <laughs> said that. Ah, this is the first, well, no. Yeah, yeah, because me. I'm a glam mom. I'm a if you don't put your damn sweater on <laughs> and go make that kid a hot plate, See, these getting they look, they don't cook. <laughs> Let me stop, though. I'm just, I'm not. <laughs> y'all are ridiculous. And, and, and don't take it offensive, because my parents are in y'all age group. They're, my parents are, are y'all, and they're garbage, too. Yeah. <laughs> they're the same ones that would straight drop their kids off at grandma's house so y'all can go on a vacation, and then when this generation do it, it's a problem. And what? Y'all care to do. And aren't they the same generation as Freak Nick? Yes! <laughs> Y'all sitting there at the free thing. Somebody's mama in the 90s was bent over, face down, <laughs> hey, um, and you coming at Megan for doing a little twerking. <laughs> <laughs> Our parents are Our parents boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, 50s. Right? My parents are in their 50s, so they will be boomers. Yeah. Most 50-year-olds are in their boomers at this point. And you know what? Steve is right. You guys did, and we thank you. We're better for it. That's the one contribution they did. What? They gave us, they gave us weed. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what else they gave us? Crack cocaine. So like, we can take it for that, too. And, well, no, they didn't give us heroin, but y'all definitely gave us a mess. Uh, I don't know about that. Now, you ever heard of any meth heads in the 80s and, and 70s and meth? Not no black ones. Now they are. Now, they are. now math is back with the inclusion and diversity. God, I hate this show. <laughs> Gen X, be. I'm telling you, I've never met a Gen Xer who didn't think that they were the one. They always think that they're the ones. And that's the reason behind this because they haven't grown up yet. They're childish. They think they us. <laughs> that's why we can't grow up because they say childish. Yeah. So it's kind of like, in a sense, like boomers, like in Gen X, like y'all, y'all broke this. So y'all got to fix it. And we're just waiting on direction. <laughs> boomers was the last great generation until we came around. It's over after us. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to say that because um, 
Before you know it, these damn Gen Z, these Gen Zers are about to run Fortune 500 companies and creating all this stuff with this technology. I need a job, so Gen Z. <laughs> Gen Z. So yeah, like I like you. You you're the future. So yeah, we hate Gen Z, Donald Trump. They're giving us nothing. <laughs> it's up. <laughs> oh yeah, Nicole. I think she said she was thirty-eight. Thirty-eight is a millennial for sure. Yeah. You're we're so me and Nicole work because I'm 38 too. I'll be 39. So we're on that. They actually call us like kind of Gen Xers and millennials. Like we're on the cusp. So, so Nicole, we can like see, huh? Nicole may not remember, but this is how you should know like what, what you are, or whatever. If you spend a lot of time with your grandma, you're <laughs> you probably are a millennial. <laughs> Because your parents would drop you off at grandma's house. Like, that's just how you know. Where your mom at? Oh, she with the... She in the Bahamas. Why she ain't take you? No, she don't be at the Bahamas. She be, like, up the street. <laughs> no. They don't be taking... Well, they don't be taking their children. They just don't be with their kids. No, sometimes they do. Because he said, I'm going to fly. I ain't taking them kids. <laughs> at the house where I'm at. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let me stop. We love you guys. This is all fun and games. We love everybody. We love everybody. It's all fun and games. Wait, they don't even cook. I was about to say it's all fun and games until we need somebody to cook. Can you think of any of your aunts who like uh, make the dishes at, at Thanksgiving or whatever? Is it yeah, my aunt here. She the one. My cousin Crystal is constantly cooking. She's a Gen Xer. So I'm not put that on Gen Xers because they still know how to cook. The shit, the shit went down with us. <laughs> I just gotta get back. Who was supposed to teach us how to cook? Well, they was get, they was always working, but they came through with the hot, the hot pockets and the toaster strudels. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you. you ever had a motherfucking toasty Tostitos uh, pizza bite? No. Changed your life in the, in middle school. <laughs> my parent, my parents are boomers. I ain't have to eat like that. I had real food. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that hot pocket out the free at the freezer after school. You'll be all right. <laughs> but all that to say, I think there was a little bit in the Super Bowl for everybody, but for the most part, yeah. it was for us millennials. I will say that, and you boomers and Gen Xs, you're going to have to give us that, because yes, you guys were basically the creators of that era that was happening, but millennials were the ones who had to be accepting of the vibe for it to grow. So you're welcome. Well, the married thing was for them, though, because nobody under the age of 50 wanted to hear no more drama. That was for them. Well, let's, I didn't, but we are talking about us. I understood those choices, although none of it was my favorite, but we're talking on the level of the Super Bowl. We got to go with the poppiest, the one that was chart raising to basically you're not gonna um you're not going to make everybody Wait, happy but love. let's keep it as middle of the road as possible she could have done real love white people know real love no they don't not like we did stop you know they'd have been in front of that tv what's this well, what they, they, what they, what they, what they, well, they was doing that anyway so they, that's what they're gonna that's, what they're gonna do like, oh. that's why they never have our black asses on, on the Super Bowl like that <laughs> That real love, I ain't never heard of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that's Super Bowl. Oh, uh, uh, while we were out, we heard, um, God, okay, I guess we'll all right, Kanye. You want to do that or what else? Bezos. <laughs> You know that's my guy. Or oh, what else? <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, we can we can we can do Kanye for three minutes three seconds. Yeah, let's do Kanye, Bezos, and I guess I mean the RNC. That shit's going to be popping off for a while. We can keep that from next week and open like really open the show with that. Okay. You want to do that? Okay, because I'm sure it's going to be so many more developing developments. <laughs> in a week so let's just see and, this, and then we'll tie trump into that too i will say this though in regards to the rnc they are trying really hard to make sure that uh <laughs> donald trump is not on the docket for 2024 and they also are calling dr oz a rhino which is a republican in name only and they're saying do not vote for dr oz because he's a fraud i'll just put that out there i'm gonna vote for dr oz <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay uh, that's how we voted for a man on tv you see what happened we got stimulus checks
You right, but I met Dr. Oz in person and he looked like he wanted to save me. <laughs> the bitch was fat. <laughs> so I know that Dr. Oz cares about me. <laughs> you missed I said I said I said the last time we bought it for a man that's on t that was on TV, we got stimulus checks. You're right about that. <laughs> but he almost took our country into civil war. Uh we about to Next week. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to do this now or that? No, no, we next week. Go next week. Okay, well, we'll let it. We'll let it marinate in the um yeah. in the atmosphere. If, if we can. Um, oh, quick, um, Kanye was uh, as long as we all know that it was Super Bowl weekend, but it was also Kanye. Yeah, Kanye West weekend. Are uh, he's been tweeting and posting on the gram. All kinds of just nonsense. I don't even really want to. It hurts me to say it nonsense because this is a family like really going through something. His reasoning is, well, we're public people, so it just makes sense to make this this public. Well, if you was public back then, why you get mad when the paparazzi was outside and you ran your your your, your waterhead into that stop sign? <laughs> like what? I don't understand. This is not public. We do not need to be in any of this. I'm not saying that he is not getting the ish end of the stick because we constantly always knew the Kanye. Messing with them Kardashians, stop it. And I'm not even saying this is all Kim's fault with how it's being handled because do I think Kanye is mentally ill? He is. So the best way is to try not to give it attention. But even if you weren't mentally ill, stop playing. Yay. You knew what it was when you linked up with that family. Okay. Now, Don't now, do this. Now, what, what you're saying, I 100% agree with you. A million percent agree with you. He knew exactly what he was getting into when he got with that family. But guess what? So did that. What? So did that. Mm -hmm. You guys were getting in the bed with Kanye West. You love the attention. You love the clothes. You yes. love the travel. You love the fashion. And now you have to love the smoke. The whole you have to. The whole family's getting the smoke. I have no issues with it at all. And and, and, and like he said, we're public people now. Kanye West wasn't really like this before. He was no nope. not like putting his business out in the public and stuff like that. He would do things. But Kim, I think Kim sat Kanye West down and told him like, we public figures now. We got to do. What we got to do publicly. And I think that he's taking that to the next level. And I'm not going to stop. You want me to stop now because you don't like it? I'm keeping, I'm keeping my foot on the gas. And I'm going to problem with it. If this is, just, this is a, a divorce relationship on the streets of hell, please look at this, people, and do not aspire to this because this is insane. And we're not going to forget. And this thing, we know how, the, how, how uh, Chris Jenner works. We're not going to do that, Chris, because the, we're not going to try to paint him as he's just this evildoer and a crazy man because you weren't saying all that when he got on the damn air to help your fl failing ass show and it, it was failing from day one. What and what did T.A. say? How, I did it out of love. How was he talking when he was on her show? All subtle. Like, do you remember? My name is Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> Like a damn baby. What the hell is wrong with you? But that's probably because she had him on the, on that cocktail of all the medications. Sure. But now, yeah, but now they out. But at the end of the day, keep that same energy. Kim, you cut Taylor's head off when you revealed that text message. You got to take that same energy. It is what it is. But another thing is I don't kind of like this. This really goes to show the Internet's like as a collective, we run this like as a group because you know what's crazy when these celebrities are out here doing hood rat ish like us. I think like y'all supposed to be in a state of being involved with it because that's just what you do. You have to be a part of it to to excel and to grow. But you sharing stuff that my cousins on 52nd Street is sharing. And I usually know how that ends up. What's going on? I, you know, I decided that I'm Team Kanye West with this stuff. Well, I shouldn't say Team Kanye West, but I'm okay with what Kanye West is doing when he said, you know me, if you're funny, I'm good with you. When he said, yes. I need some advice because this is my first divorce, so that was the best line of <laughs> <laughs> Your lawyer can't help you? Like, can't no lawyer? You ain't got nobody in your family that's been through divorce? Kim has three of them. 
she ain't helping. She right. that's why she that's why she's so cool with this because she's had three times before to where she knows how to act. So I'm gonna go over here with Skeet Davidson and we just gonna live our best life. That's what Kanye is calling him. Look, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with it. I I I don't have no issues with Kanye West coming. In. I I mean, just be careful with the threats because I mean, at the end yes. of the day, you know what it is. But overall, like I I'm kind of enjoying this. I'm not. I would love to say, I would love to enjoy it. I really want to. I want to get on the bandwagon. I want to get in there when he like post and be like, "You go, yay! You tell well, it." I never do that. <laughs> Well, I want to, but I can't because it's like mental illness and it's real. And especially after it was one meltdown, this was the beginning of like the divorce meltdowns and they were showing something on TMZ, like a little clip. And you can tell it was his cousin saying like, give me your phone. Stop it. I am your family. So it it's clear that people there are trying to help. But what can you really do? You can only do but so much. So it's clear that there's something wrong, which is why I can't you could fully troll this situation the way I want to. You could unfollow Pete Davis and Kim Kardashian and be Well, Pete ain't on social media, so he's smart. He knew what it was. Yes, he is, because when, when Kanye West went off on Kid Cudi, he showed that he was following Pete Davis. He was following the enemy. You <laughs> was it Pete or was it somebody? I think it was... No, he was mad because he was still following Kim, I believe. Okay, well, you, you can't be friends with you-know-who. <clears throat> um, Entertain Me said, um, that's why Courtney only dates white men. But they crazy, too. Kim, Kim said, let me get some of that. <laughs> Courtney's baby's father. But she's three kids by one guy and never been married to him. So that's like a baby dad. Garbage. Yeah. Crack cocaine in the streets, allegedly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I do. I guess that, Kim wanted some. I will say this though. I do feel. F I do agree with what she came and said. I do feel for their kids yeah. because the kids are old enough to see this stuff too. Like their life. Mm -hmm. the Shakima corrected. It was Billy Eilish. That's who it was. Thank you. Billy Eilish. That he's still following. Yeah. You can't be doing it. Oh, that was Billy Eilish. Yeah, that was Billy. That picture I saw. She looked like. Well, I'm not. We're not going to shame this girl, Billy Ida Eilish. We're not going to do well, it. I, I got to go look at that picture again. If that is her, I am going to shame her. You can't be, you better moisturize your face or something. You can't be looking like that. What? If that was her, she need a bath. I got to look at the picture again. But if that was Billy Eilish, she needs a bath for sure. You know, the age don't hit everybody the same way, right? Well, <laughs> I got to go look at that picture again. Because, I'm trying to be nice, but. I'm not. Drink, drink some water, Billy. Get you a um a humidifier in the room when you sleep. And, it help. And apologize to Kanye West. Then maybe. <laughs> and now, because Kanye was well, she now Billy's sitting there trying to say that would would she to stop her show to help that fan with that inhaler had nothing to do with Travis Scott. This is where I call BS on her because she, at first I'd have been like, yeah, that's all, that's amazing. And she's like, I've done this before. But it's when she said something to the effect of like, I care about my fans. Like, I do. girl. Y'all didn't, didn't say nothing when Tiana Taylor stopped in that room with seven people and said that y'all didn't, y'all wasn't upset then. Seven people? I was, it was like 17. But it was like, she had stopped the show. She did stop this show. You stop this show because you're not going to disrespect TT out here in these streets. Oh my gosh, she stopped the show. I remember she did stop the show. She did it. I remember. She why Kanye? And that's why she stopped it. And that's why Kanye said, and I'm not pushing your album. You can leave good music. <laughs> I love Tiana Taylor, by the way. I think she's a great woman. I love Tiana. I'm not saying she can't do no wrong. But for the moment, I love Tiana Taylor. I love their little family, all of that goodness. So, yes. Okay, so we got into... Well, I, I just want to... Um, huh? Oh, you said Bezos. Okay. Yeah, Bezos. Or we could get... I don't really want to get heavy. I feel yeah. like we'll Sports. get into it, but the Joe Rogan stuff, Spotify. I got nothing. I'm going to have to talk about that mm -hmm. tomorrow, and I don't want to. Okay, but, so um, maybe next week we'll just do a small recap of it. I don't feel like talking about it tonight. I think that Van Jones deserves some credit on the show. 
Well, still. let me say this. Congratulations to Van Jones and his friend. They're having a baby and they're, I think they called it consciously co-parenting. Conscious couple. Yeah, co-parenting. Yeah. So congratulations to Van Jones and his friend. Not baby mom, but friend. That's what he said, friend? Yeah, he said that's his Jesus. <laughs> he said that was his friend and they decided to have a baby together but they're not going to be a couple they want to consciously co-parent with each other did they have sex or not because i've known people who've done that but there wasn't sex involved there was a little cup little turkey base or whatever you are you might have really went to the doctor and got it done but michael, how did this happen you're talking about michael jackson no 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 this wasn't a situation no. like this this, this this isn't a situation like that this to me this is a person who had sex with someone, got the woman pregnant, and now, like, she's like, oh, I'm having a baby. You don't want to have a baby, but you don't want to be with her. So you're like, oh, we're we doing this. Stop trying to force y'all BS on other people. Stop it. This is your situation. You have a baby mom, brother. You're not the only one. You're not. You, you're not the first. You won't be the last. You have a baby mom. Deal with it. Or the king of spin, Kanye, go see Van. <laughs> Well, remember they said Van was dating Kim Kardashian for a minute? I remember that. Damn, girl, you was... It was... You, you really want to date? That's what Van said. That's why Van said, I, we, I, I, we ain't taking... Mm -mm. I'm trying to get... Kanye <laughs> like, West, I'm trying to get Kim back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can y'all stop? All this conscious BS started with... I mean, it was from a book, but with Gwyneth Paltrow. Like... I don't care how much rich and fame and celebrity you might have. I know a baby mama when I see one. I know a baby daddy when I see one. And that's just what it is. You can call it whatever you want to make it happy, like in your mind. But if there was a sexual relationship involved, that's your baby daddy and your baby mama. And that's just what it is. Because I don't have sex with my friends. Me a lot because they now not like that. What they tell you, your the, the love of your life will be your best friend. It counts when you get married. <laughs> it only counts when you get married. That's it. I no time before that. <laughs> well, I was with my best friend for eleven years, and he was my best friend prior to that. And we see where that where that is. Because y'all wasn't trying to consciously um, co-parent. That's the problem. That's what it was. We didn't consciously uncouple and we didn't consciously co-parent. So maybe that that's the fix down the line. Right. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so let's talk about a little later. I mean, we're gonna end it on this. Y'all go y'all gonna stop hating on, on Jeff Bezos. I need I need it to stop. Like it stop hating on this man's money because he got it. It just is what it is. So there was a story. That came out. Uh, look at Randy. That's my brother. I'm like, don't do that, man. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you see me? It's my, I, I just minded my business. <laughs> but we meant it. We know why it didn't work out. We we put that. We know why. Okay. So the next best friend, I'll make it work with the conscious, <laughs> conscious baby daddy. And and when it don't work out, we will consciously uncouple. That's the. Road to success. Road to success. According to Gwyneth Paltrow, who sells... Yo, you know there was a Super Bowl commercial of the other day about Uber Eats, and they showed her in the commercial, and she was eating... like they were eating, Basically, they were eating stuff that's not edible. And in hers, she was eating her candle that smells like her vagina. And I was like, oh, my God. And then my dad was like, I don't get it. I said, of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but knowing Gwyneth, she probably does have an edible no. vagina smell no. candle that she eats on a regular. There's a candle that smells like her vagina, and she sells it for, like, money. Well, she bought... We ain't gonna... We not gonna give her credit for that. We gonna give the good, um, Erica Badu no. credit with them coochie incense. No, she... I think... I think... I'm pretty sure Gwyneth was first. I think she did it first before Erica. You well, we just, gonna call it. You just didn't want to smell it because, you know... <laughs> but she didn't do it. You're right. I don't. I don't want to smell nobody's, nobody's uh hoo ha, but mine. <laughs> Your brother said, "How much is the Gwyneth Paltrow one, and where can he find it?" I don't know. Cause he nasty. Cause he wanted. Okay, Gwyneth. <laughs>
Gwyneth Paltrow or Erica Badu, which one would you rather have your house smell like? Erica. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's move forward. I'm sorry. I won't, I won't interrupt again. I, I, I just got to stop talking. <laughs> that was so stupid. This show is sick. <laughs> <laughs> It, okay. Yes. And Shakim was with us. Badu Cooch for sure around the house. What? What you choose? We are not like you choosing Gwen? apple mama. I was like, Gwen's like apple. <laughs> we already know you choosing apple mama. I can't sick. I'm sick of you. Because <laughs> Erica Badu probably smells like incense. Who wants to smell that in house? Sage. You be sage. You, you probably do sage. You look like you sage. I don't sage. I'm not there yet. I got a couple crystals. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some state, some sage in the grocery store the other day, and I said, "People really be." God. That's what they do. Oh, my yeah. mom was doing it. Hey, you know, you know, the you know, you know who started that? Gen X. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Way to bring it back. Okay, we gonna end this on Jeff. Y'all stop hating on Jeff Bezos. There was a report that I saw come out, a very nasty hating like report. Mm -hmm. Jeff Bezos is running up the prices on Amazon because he need to fix his billion dollar uh yacht. Why not? Jeff raised them prices and we still gonna pay for it. And y'all gonna shut up about it. Because guess what? Jeff I love saw that we were lazy in the direction that we were heading in. He said, I need a solution for this lazy problem. And he gave us one. Mm -hmm. Pay that 12, 14, however, 30 not pay it and shut up and ask that man how that how that damn uh yacht is coming along. I love that you're talking about Jeff Bezos literally calling us stupid and taking our money from us. But all the people in the comments are talking about Erica by doing Gwen and Gwen um Gwen and Patrick's vaginas. <laughs> um the co strategy that um that we need to buy black. Shakima called him, told him to go to hell. Um McLean Steve X if we call him um Gen X lazy. And now everybody, the, right now, where Amazon is, the whole entire world is lazy. And it's like they... E.C. McLean, can I ask you a question? Do you sage? You sage, don't you? <laughs> you sage? <laughs> I can't stand you. I'm just asking. Because they did come up with it. They created it. Because in Boys in the... Was it Boys in the Hood? Lawrence Fishburg was like... That was the damn say. That was the damn ball to they, keep your, your stress so, down. Yeah, you numb your hurry. Yeah, y'all do stuff like that. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't do this because we know saging was something. We don't want to cultural appropriate <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> saging. Where did it come from? You know, I don't know. You know, probably some Native American, some where down the line i don't know could be indian i don't really know but we say it's gen xers then they'll come down on us with cultural appropriation so no it, it wasn't it wasn't them but y'all damn sure did uh y'all took the hype in that's what y'all did <laughs> uh, what's the what the hype in what is that no, they basically believed the hype. They jumped on the saging bandwagon. I'm not saying that it, it don't work, but do you know what it really works for? They said, you gotta cleanse the energy and the spirit. You don't get, I don't even, like you said, I don't even do no damn incense. Get that sage out of my face. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. You know what clears my spirit? The Bible clears, cleanses the spirits for me. I don't need that. That's all you need? Yeah. No therapy? You don't need nothing. They definitely started that. They definitely started what you need a stage and a candle for an instant. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow at 10 p.m., I'll be on Bro Talk. <laughs> we're, coming back, we're coming back for another season of Bro Talk Live. It's going to be incredible. I can't wait. Toy, 
somebody just said I haven't read a Bible in years. Can you please tell me how many times I went to church last week? Was it once? I know you definitely went once. Twice in one week. Thank you. What was your Bible study? I do Bible study on Tuesdays before Broke Talk Live. Which is trying to cleanse the energy. Because <laughs> <laughs> people try to come for me and my holiness. Very holy over here. It's a vessel. I'm looking at my cousin. She said, Cousin Crystal, the Holy Spirit is my saint. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I missed the comment. Oh, I missed. You thought they'd be acting stupid. Yes. What did the three kings give Jesus in the New Testament? What they give him? Incense, Frank and frankincense, and something. Wait, wait. Oh my God. Go get that. I hate when go I go get that, and that's gonna be the 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 solution to all, every problem you come across in life. That's the solution. Now, like I said, tomorrow I'll be on Bro Talk Live. Links in my bio, 10 p.m. And where else will you be? I know you do another show. Um, Patting the Millennial um, drops. No, you do it. Oh, that's on Wednesday. Don't you got another couple of shows? Oh, sorry, sorry. And Mina's House. I do the Mina's House podcast as well. Okay, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and Bro Talk Live, you, we can be found here. We'll be <laughs> doing stuff on other platforms. <laughs> Bro Talk Live. Can, where can they find you on? Yeah, it's, uh, Bro Talk Live is everywhere. Um, not here though. With Bro Talk Live, you can just go to facebook.com backslash Bro Talk Live to, to talk in the live chat like you guys do here. Also, we're okay. on live, just Bro Talk Live and subscribe there. And then we do a podcast uh, everywhere you find podcasts. Just type in Bro Talk Live. Okay. And talk about, pa and where, where can Mina's house be found? Same places. No specifications. Oh, yeah, like that's not my show. What you want me to do? Like, I want y'all to watch Bro Talk tomorrow. That's what I want y'all to do. Like, where can Patty and the Millennials be found? Same, like everywhere you stream, like podcasts, like like literally everywhere. It's not like a web show. It's just, just simply podcasts, and it's literally everywhere. Mina's house. Entertain me said, "Shit, are you going to do a show with me?" Entertain me. We're gonna have to bring her on at one point because she is always adding to the conversation. For what? Don't, don't, don't you do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we really do appreciate you guys. You guys are hilarious. I love to hear. Yes, I mean, just all the friends. All the friends. Thank you so much. And we are going to go into bringing people back on. Remember before, like, we tried it a little bit, like, closer toward the end of the show. Let's bring somebody on. We need to get back to that. And let's just do a disclaimer. Don't. Them balls better be tucked and in where they supposed to be. What are you talking about? Because you know people no, be crazy. Uh, guys, can we go to bed? Like, it's time. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I know what you're trying to go do. Okay, now I'm about to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you so much. We love you. We love you. We love you. And we will see you next week, Monday, for more fun. Let's hope we don't get shut down and on punishment again. If we do, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> the Generation X. Shout out the Gen X? Yeah. We're going to shout out Gen X. We're going to shout out Gen Z. And we're going to shout out uh, Boomers. Okay. Don't. I was Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait until you have some damn kids and they put your ass not even in a retirement home. Don't, like the what they call it. What's I'm, up? I'm, Is going, it the I'm not going. I'm going in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, don't worry, because by the time you need it, it'll be available. So real quick before we go with the metaverse, so everybody's going to be living their best life in the metaverse. What's going to happen in the real? universe are y'all gonna be home? Like, how it does it now y'all gonna be uh, y'all gonna be in the real world lying so y'all be in the, in the metaverse telling the same lies except this time it'll be true that's it but in the real world you just you're not you don't have it yeah look you got you miss it it is what it is have a wonderful evening everybody and we on we on scorpio uh look out for these for these 2022 babies. <laughs> if any of our watchers, our commenters, you come up talking about I had a baby in Scorpio season, y'all nasty. That means yeah. and then y'all wet.
Damn, your boss says we got you going. It must have been the, the vagina candles and incense. I think that's what it was. So it got it got the juices flowing. So y'all need to thank Gwyneth Paltrow and uh, Erica Badu. <laughs> On that note, love you guys. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining. Bye. <laughs>